नमस्ते 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 गणेश सर नमस्ते प्रियो सर वन थिंग इज देयर इन टू सी the relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness i am still incomplete in understanding the completeness what it is really can you uh, elaborate and i for my better clarification it's a question thank you thank you all the <clears throat> meaning of saying relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness <clears throat> would essentially mean that the whole existence by its every design is by way of coexistence harmony and relationship that is the meaning of it that not only that i have natural acceptance for relationship harmony and coexistence but by very design of the existence of the nature is already in coexistence harmony and relationship that we should be able to see that this whole existence this whole nature is in harmony relationship and coexistence by its very design for example if you look at the forest without the intervention of the human being all this you know the plants and animals and the soil and the water they are all in relationship and relationship of mutual fulfillment so they are in harmony and they are in relationship of mutual fulfillment without us doing anything so all this is happening and out of that mutual fulfillment so much excess is generated which is useful for the human being so you don't have to do anything for it it is there by its very design what you have to do is to understand this design of coexistence harmony and relationship in the entire existence in the entire nature and be with it so when you understand this coexistence harmony and relationship then you are in harmony within and then you interact with this whole existence this nature in a manner which is mutually fulfilling which is in line with the coexistence harmony and relationship so what we keep saying 99.99% is already in harmony in relationship in coexistence human being also has natural acceptance for relationship harmony and coexistence and therefore what i as a human being or we as a human being have to do is to understand this relationship harmony and coexistence and live in that relationship harmony and coexistence yes sir uh, so while uh... uh understanding relationship is it necessary that i should also feel the relationship with my family members society and nature you have told already so how i can do these two things family and society my relationship yes, sir when i understand that the relationship is already there then i have the acceptance for relationship number 1 right the moment yes, you sir. understand it you have the feeling you don't have to do anything to create that feeling number 1 number 
when you have this feeling of relationship you yourself feel comfortable without doing anything outside even now what is happening is that when you have the feeling of opposition for someone having that feeling of opposition itself makes you unhappy even if you do not express it to anybody it is intended yes so the yes issue is that just having that feeling of opposition makes me unhappy without i doing anything outside for the other that feeling itself makes me unhappy similarly when i have this feeling of relationship with the other out of my right understanding that immediately makes me happy without i doing anything outside so it is not that i am going all around and trying to fulfill my relationship with everybody no that's not the idea i have understood that relationship is there therefore i have this feeling of relationship for everyone and with that feeling of relationship i am in a state of harmony and happiness and with that you know my work is done of being happy without doing anything outside number 1 number 2 when i have this feeling of relationship for the other then as and when there will be a need i will fulfill that relationship express that feeling of relationship for the other that will come naturally effortlessly yes. so nothing is special has to be done for example if i have a feeling of relationship for you that having feeling of relationship itself is making me in harmony and happiness without i doing anything for it now when i have this feeling of relationship for you then whenever you are interacting with me whenever you are asking any question sharing any experience i pay attention to it all that i have to do is to have that feeling and if i have that feeling i will certainly pay attention to whatever you are saying i will try to understand you understand your question right and respond to it and that is what i am doing yeah, yeah isn't it yes so i don't have to do anything very special yes sir sir one uh, clarification that um suppose i do not have or somebody else doesn't have the natural acceptance and has the feeling of opposition so in that case to understand relationship harmony and coexistence will be a great problem so in that case uh, what uh, one can advise to the other who is not with the natural acceptance feeling of natural acceptance i i think by now you must have realized that there are no exceptions yes sir you must have by Your now realized that there are no exception to this fact yeah yeah yes everybody has this natural acceptance and interestingly you know if you see a person like the one you are talking about what will be his natural acceptance that you behave properly with him or misbehave with him no behave yeah behave properly so he already yeah. has that natural acceptance in him only thing is that he is not able to pay attention to it and see for himself and i am also not able to help him you know draw his attention towards it 
because maybe he is not very assured in my be with my behavior. So what do I do now? At least I behave properly with him. Despite his misbehavior, I behave properly with him. And if I behave properly with him, he will have natural acceptance for my right behavior. And that will make him comfortable. He may take time because he may have a lot of history. Yeah. A lot of history with me, with other people. And he has generated this feeling of opposition with many of people. So now he will take time to evaluate all those things, get rid of them, and you know, pay attention to his natural acceptance and you know, get concerned, get convinced about it. All that may take time. But as far as I am concerned, I have the right feeling in me, feeling of relationship, and therefore I am in harmony and happiness. I am behaving properly with him. And he will certainly accept my right behavior, despite the fact that he may himself be misbehaving. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Bhoti acha laga. Uh, um, uh, as going through the step number seven of exercise two. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha. Uh, while going through the step number seven of uh, exercise two, uh, now slowly I can see, means uh, I am in space, body in space, and I am not dependent on the body. But these three, word, uh, three words which you were discussing right now, the feeling... Uh, the love and the compassionate. So I want uh, uh, some clarification on these three. Means if I am having a feeling, whatever be the feeling, it is not love. If I am having love, it is not the compassionate. Means th there are three different things while getting any feelings in me. So please uh, elaborate. G. Thank you. Love means the feeling of relationship for everyone. Yeah. So if I have the feeling for everyone, then it is love. That's what love is called. Yeah. And compassion means that I am able to <clears throat> express that feeling through my thought, through my expectation. Okay. So with that feeling of relationship, now I will try to work out how I can fulfill that relationship as and when required. So that feeling leads to thought and expectation in this self and then expressed in behavior. So that expression in behavior, in uh, thought and expectation of this feeling of love is what is called compassion. So it will essentially mean that I'm thinking of how to fulfill my relationship with the other, right, unconditionally. Yes. So this I'm not doing for each and every person and every time, right? I keep evaluating whenever I feel there is a need do something in my relationship with some ex. Then I do all this detailing. That is compassion. Okay. That acceptance of feeling is there all the time. But its expression will come as and when required. So if somebody has to be given some help in terms of understanding the reality, then I detail, I work out the detail what I have to do to help him to understand things. Yeah. Unconditionally, without 
putting any condition on the other. Okay, unconditionally. Mm -hmm. So if I feel that there is a need to work for ensuring his right understanding, then in regard of whether he is able to see this or not, whether he is able to, whether he is responding positively or not, I will try to work out, you know, how, what to do with a given condition. Mm. Yeah, that is compassion. So the feeling of relationship for all is love and expression of that feeling in your thought and expectation is com compassion. Okay. Miss, uh, miss, in second part, it gives responsibility. Miss, it is my responsibility to improve others. Can, can we say like this? No, this is one example. My responsibility is to fulfill my relationship with the other for which I have already have that feeling. So one okay. thing of uh, fulfilling the relation I told was that if there is a child, it is my responsibility to give him the right kind of education. Mm -hmm. Similarly, it is my responsibility to nurture the body of the child. It is my responsibility to have this feeling of trust on the child, feeling of respect, right? All those things will come out of my feeling. Ji, ji. Thank yes. you. Ji, ji. Thank you, Ganesh ji. Hearing from you is really... <laughs> Getting some okay. wisdom knowledge. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, Sabiko. Namaste. Dhanyavad. Ganesh ji, Namaste. Sabiko, Namaste. 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 Uh, uh, Ganesh ji, I have got two questions. First question yes. is about uh, Sunday's discussion. Uh, still, I am not clear about the difference between pure observer and natural acceptance. Yeah. Then... Uh, shall I move to the second question also, Ji? Yes, yes. The second question is about, I know about a corporate guru who always uh, dress himself in a fashionable, trendy outfits and accessories. So it may be my precondition that as a spiritual practitioner, why he is uh, dressing like a model? Uh, that may be my precondition, G. But the question is, there are uh, now and then there are so many allegations coming against him and his organization. So, as a common man, how can I rightly evaluate him whether he is a true spiritual practitioner and seeker, G? Yeah. So. Regarding the first question, what mm. I was explaining that day, and I'll try to explain again, mm. that <clears throat> if you are at the level of pure observer, some simple, you know, uh, signs or simple uh, things that we can uh, check for the pure observer is mm. that when I am at the level of pure observer, I can observe the lower activities of the self. I can also evaluate these lower activities of the self. And while observing it, I am not getting influenced by this lower activity. Mm. Mm. And I'm not reacting to those lower activities. Mm. So this is some of the uh, checks mm -mm. to tell me whether I am at the level of pure observer or not. Gee. So 
in other words we can say that when we are at the level of pure observer number one we have the capacity to see to observe the lower activity capacity mm -hmm. to evaluate the lower activities without getting influenced by it without any reaction mm -hmm. so if you are there then you can get a feel of what really it means to be a pure observer mm -hmm. and when you are at the level of pure observer you are in harmony within and you are in a state of happiness within there there is no disharmony there is no unhappiness mm -hmm. right so this is main thing that we have to you know identify for ourselves mm -hmm. now when we are at the level of pure observer from there you can ask this question what is naturally acceptable to me Mm. and you can get the answer from there so your natural acceptance is some answers that you are getting regarding yourself at the level of your observer mm -hmm. so when you are at the level of your observer and you are observing your feeling for example you can ask this question to yourself what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition what leads to harmony and happiness feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition mm -hmm. so when you are asking this question the answer you are getting is basically from the place of pure observer mm -hmm. if you ask the same question from your sanskar Mm. you might get the answer that okay it is comforting when i have a feeling of relationship but you know in this world of opposition if you have to survive you have to have the feeling of opposition right that is mm -hmm. why so many people are deciding in favor of feeling of opposition mm -hmm. so natural acceptance what is my natural acceptance that answer comes from the pure observer mm -hmm. so when we are asking this question to ourselves what is my natural acceptance basically we are addressing to our pure observer that is what mm -hmm. we are doing. and from there we are getting the answer so basically this natural acceptance is some of the answer that we are getting So these answers regarding natural acceptance are obtained from the pure observer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ji, let me explore more on that. Yes. See for myself, Ji. Yes. Yes. Oh, regarding my second question ji yeah regarding the second question <clears throat> evaluating somebody on the basis of his dress or on the basis of his appearance may not always be correct Mm hmm. That I agree, Ji. Right. So, <clears throat> he may be a right person. He may not be a right person. Both these mm. possibilities are there. Mm. 
Now the question is whether I believe on him or not. Right? How to rightly evaluate him. Yeah. Now the question is why am I evaluating the other? Because I want to relate to the other. Uh, Ganeshji, let me add, uh, his uh, teachings are in line with UHV proposals. So I am attracted towards his preachings. But I want to know whether he is living by it. This is what I am saying. The question is basically, uh, I want to relate mm. to that. Right? Whether mm -hmm. he is relating to or not. Okay. Okay. Question. Is it correct? Okay. Uh, I am not able to see the relationship, but still, that may be correct, G. No, I am feeling that what he is saying is mm. in line with UHV. Yes, Bhaiya. Then I am trying to ask this question to myself, whether I listen to him whether I believe on what he is saying or not, right? That is the question. The answer is... I want to... Huh. Do you want to... I want to know, um, Ganeshji, that whether he is living by his preachings and teachings, when I am getting allegations against him, I am having is a doubt. Important? Is that important? Or... What is important is whether you connect to that person or not. Whether you take his words to be true or not. Whether you spend time working on it or not. That is the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So my response would be that I take his words to be mm. true. Mm. And I verify, explore on it. And I verify for myself. If it is right for me, I will work with it. If it is not right for me, I will drop it. That is what we are saying in EHB, that every time you have a proposal, you have to mm. explore why take it as just given. Why believe it? on the basis of this, you know, uh, acceptance that if this person has said, it must be true. <laughs> so why go by assumption? Why not explore myself? Mm -hmm. So this person, whoever he is X, Y, Z, he is making some proposal. Mm. I will listen. I will Verify for myself. I will explore mm -hmm. and verify. And if I find that this is something which is making sense for me, I will work with it. If I find that what he is saying is not naturally acceptable and need, not leading to harmony and happiness, I will drop that. Because this idea of evaluating oh. this other person in his completeness is a fairly big task to do. Yeah, yeah, that is what Baya. Yeah. He is there with all his self and his environment. Mm. So there may be certain actions of him on the basis of which you can make some evaluation. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. But mm -hmm. I do not engage myself or my life for this purpose of evaluating the other. Mm -hmm. I will rather invest my life in trying to understand right the existential reality, understand myself, mm. 
that how I, how I have to be with this existential reality. And I'm paying attention to him also with this expectation. Mm -hmm. So I can listen to the other mm -hmm. and I can explore myself and see what he's saying is right or not right. So we are not going by believe anyway. We are not going by assumption. So for us, this is not an important question. Whatever he is saying, we'll explore and see. Mm -hmm. Yes. His preachings are fine. Only thing is behavior. Uh, that 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 there is a conflict and. Uh, there I'm getting stepped up, Ji. I will not bow and behavior. Simple. Baya, you could not be heard. I said I will not buy that behavior of him, which is not proper. Am I audible? Uh, now we are audible, Ji. Okay, thank you so much, Ganesh. Thanks, sir. Yeah. So I'm not going to go by blind faith anyway. I'm going to explore. So whatever mm. he's saying, I'll explore for myself and see. Mm. GG. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Ganesh. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Namaste to all my co-hosts. Namaste. 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 Maya, uh, I, have, uh, I would like to have small clarification regarding this knowing and understanding what is concerned. Uh, is it uh, to maintain uh, continuous happiness, to have a continuous happiness and harmony within self? Uh, we need to know and understand about self. Uh, and the, the relationship between the, among the existing relationship among the units in the nature, including human beings. And the, is that uh, enough or any subject matter of discussion also need to be uh, known very well and understand? That means what I mean to say is, is it uh, some balance required between the uh, skill-based uh, the development and this knowing about uh, uh, this uh, self-body coexistence and the rela uh, existing relationship and the harmony uh, the, in the nature and everything. Yeah. So this is important uh, question. We have been talking about this complementarity of values and skills. You remember, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right in the initial chapters, we have talked about the complementarity between the values and the skills. Yes. And we said both are important. Yes. And they are complementary to each other. Yes. So let me explain what it means. So what it means is that we as human beings have two major responsibility right yes. Yes. one is to understand what to do right? yes and second is to understand how to do yes please. so this question regarding what to do is related to the value education and question about how to do is related to the skill education. Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, what is happening today is that we are talking about skill education without talking about the value education. So we do not have the clarity about what to do. 
right? And yes. we are busy with developing skills to do things. Yes. For example, if I have to learn the skill of making a bomb, atom bomb, right? Do I need to ask this question whether I need to make a bomb, whether I need to fight, have this feeling of opposition, or ultimately I have to work for relationship. And if there is a condition when the other person is going to violate me, then to avoid that condition, I might decide to make an atom bomb for the time being. But this is not the solution. Do I have this clarity? What do you think? Today, do we have this clarity? Uh, no. That is the reason all these conflicts and struggles. So America keeps claiming that we can destroy this world 30 times. We have so much of weapon. Now, this sounds very foolish because you can't destroy an earth 30 times. You can destroy only once. So if we have enough weapon to destroy it once, fine. Why more? Why 30 times? But because we don't have that clarity of what to do and we are busy with how to do. So even if we have wrong assumptions about what to do, we are de busy developing the techniques, the skills. So what we are saying is that we should have the clarity of what to do. Necessary skill of how to do. So all these questions about understanding oneself, understanding the existence, understanding our role in the existence, right? This put together is basically trying to get the answer about what I have to do as a human being in this existence. Yes. And that is what we are calling as value education. Once we have the answer of what to do, what I have to do as a human being in this existence, then I will work out the necessary skills which are required for doing what I have to do. And if I do not have those skills, I will learn those skills. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, but uh, one small uh, clarification required is sometimes uh, what I have observed, uh, people know what to do, but they are uh, that is not leading to how to do part. Uh, they satisfy with what to do by knowing. That is also a problem, I think. Uh, am I correct? Yeah. No, if that problem is there, then these people have to overcome that problem. Because yeah, if you is... know what to do, if you know yeah. what to do, you will certainly do something about it. Yeah. And in yes. order to do something about it, you will learn the necessary skills. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So if somebody is not doing, that means he has some lack of clarity in what to do itself. Yeah. yeah. Because if you understand that there is relationship, you will also understand that the relationship has to be fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. That is lack of understanding. For example, for so many days you are trying into this, you know, exploring into this early education thing, right? Yes. yes. And you are able to see that you have this feeling of relationship naturally acceptable to you. Yes. And therefore, there is some increase in the feeling of relationship in you. And that yes. makes you more comfortable and harmonious and happy. Now, 
when you have that feeling are you doing anything to fulfill that feeling of relationship yes 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 or not doing any yeah uh, always try uh, try to make that part fulfillment of relationship when i interact with uh, anybody in any situation or any yeah so that is very natural yes if that is not happening in someone mm. then it is a matter of concern he needs some help yes there is some lack of clarity in the other yes yes yeah now i could get that i understand it very nice explanation uh, thank you yeah yes thank you नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते गणेश सर जी नमस्ते मैं ऑडियो यस सर जी यस्टरडे देर वॉज ए इंसिडेंट देर वॉज ए थीप केम बिहाइंड अवर हाउस एंड ही कॉट सम टू थ्री मोबाइल एंड ही लेफ्ट ऑन द वे ही हैज बीन कॉट एंड पीपल शाओ बीटन हिम and this is not the first time he is doing in our colony it is the second time the first time he has been sent to the jail also and my question here is bhaiya that what must be the response of a fever observer at such a instant that is the first question and second question is so what is that in spite of doing so many things and uh, even going to jail also even he as a self having to be happy all the time now why the change is not happening with him these are the two questions bhaiya yeah see if i look at this whole phenomena i feel that he has this problem because he has not been given the right education and sanskar by the parents by the environment by the society by the schools and colleges that is the real problem and unfortunately when he is taken to jail and put there confined even in the jail we are not giving the right education and sanskar this is the problem so from the pure observer if you see this will be the answer that i as an individual and finally i as a society would like to work for ensuring right education and sanskar at home by the parents by the environment by the whole society by the schools and colleges and if somebody has not been able to get this right education despite all this effort and he is creating committing some kind of crime then he'll put him in the jail and in the jail that's very good place where you have 24 hours time you are anyway provided for food and everything shelter so there we should give right education and sanskar if we do that things will fall in place because as a human being every one of us wants to understand what is right and do what is right so that is what makes us happy so that will be my response to such people and interestingly interestingly we have tried working with the jail inmates any places and our experience is that they are the people who respond faster than the people in these colleges and schools because they have already gone through the effect of not having right understanding and right feeling and right thought and they have enough time to experiment so we should give right education and sanskar in the schools and colleges and in the society and in the family 
and we should also give right education and sanskar in the jails jails and all such confinements yes, it is very, very effective true. yeah yeah very true bhaiya mostly i think uh, that experimentation is not going on in all the jails and every part of the society what i feel bhaiya yes so we have to work for it interestingly i remember we did this work with bilaspur central jail you know, for two years and we had did lot of you know kind of uh, recording of their feedback and the study of that and like we asked them what do you think the whole day what is your thought and then we you know, started working with around 150 people there ultimately we worked with around 650 people but 150 people we were working with and we made this survey of what they think the whole day and in the beginning most of them said that we think keep thinking of the people with for whom, because of whom we are inside this jail and we keep planning how to take revenge from these people so this is the major thought process then we asked them the same question after 6 months most of them said that now we realize that we committed some mistake these other people also committed some mistake we are fortunate you know to get this input and we are working on it and they are feeling more comfortable and now we think that when we go out right we will try to help these people because of whom we are in the jail because they are also in trouble so this kind of change was quite visible recently we had this experiment we have started in kanpur and one of the uh, inmate he said that i am inside the jail by chance because i have been trapped by some uh, police uh, this thing uh, station in charge si and i am put here but my case is under consideration in the court and very soon i will be free uh but i am very uh, now i feel very obliged to this station inspector who brought me here and i got this you know right proposal and then after some time he was released because his case was not very strong and this fellow was some gerbert so this man went to that si after he was freed from the jail with a packet of sweet gave him lot of thanks that you had you know put me there okay and it gave me this opportunity to get the right kind of proposals on which i am working and it is making so much of change in my life he rang up from there to us saying that i want you to talk to this si and this si was also quite surprised you know that this kind of things can also happen because he had manipulated to put him into the jail so all these bad people are not so bad people yes very true bhaiya very true yes so you should start this work in the jail of your area i feel that every college should take the responsibility of at least one jail around them to help them give the right kind of education and sanskar
and not very difficult even if you do it first 10 days in the evening then once in a week it can make lot of difference so every college should take the responsibility Yes, yes, Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhaiya. It is uh, very helpful. I think the society transformation will happen if every yes. institute uh, participate like this. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, In, Bhaiya. In uh, Ghaziabad, there is a college called AKG, Ajay Kumar yes. Gar College of Engineering. They are already doing it with one of the jail in Ghaziabad. So, like that, we can do. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you very much. That's what one has to start, Bhaiya. Yes. Yes. Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, namaste, Ganeshi. Uh, Ganeshi, I just want to know from the exercise too, uh, the about pain. Uh, so I was experiencing pain in my neck. Uh, never in my life before any pain used to give me so much suffering. Even I started crying, Baya. So you have once told, uh, I was, uh, you had once told, uh, even when you sit with uh, like cross leg for one hour, Initially, you will feel pain and then afterwards, you will not feel that uh, pain later on, it will go off. So, I was trying to explore these also when my pain was happening, uh, but it was not uh, doing, uh, it was not, uh, I could, I don't know whether I, I, I tried to uh, give that separation to the pain, uh, but still it was disturbing me a lot. So how yes. uh, is it possible that we can, uh, with the exercise too, uh, we can uh, separate the pain from the, of course, the pain is from the body. Uh, I think myself was getting disturbed. And then with this exercise too was also going on. So I tried to explore that I should not get disturbed. Uh, uh, the pain is something different. Uh, so some somewhat I put the uh, self, I tried not to disturb. Uh, but this was first time I really cried also out of the pain, which had never happened. So that was, uh, yeah. I just want to. Yeah. yeah. This is an ex a very interesting experiment. <clears throat> so what we have to do is when some pain is taking place in the body and I am observing that pain, then the core thing is that I am observing the pain without reaction. What happens generally is that when I am observing the pain and that pain is something which for which I have a very typical you know, reaction, typical sanskar, then I start reacting. I want to remove that pain. So I want to remove that pain and that pain is not going. So I am observing but deep inside I want that pain to go. So that reaction is already on. And because the reaction is already on, my unhappiness is already on. So what was said that when such a thing is happening, there is some sensation and I do not like that sensation and I am reacting to that sensation and I am unhappy, right? What we can start doing is that observe that pain without reaction. That is the crux. Observing it without reaction. If you start reacting, then things will become complicated. So that is what we have been doing till now. So observing it 
without reaction means you are observing from the place of the pure observer right when you observe without reaction then it might happen that the pain gets aggravated because there is some process going on in the body and because of that process the pain is getting aggravated when it starts getting aggravated i start reacting so that is what is not that is not what it is being suggested what is being suggested is that fine let it increase okay and you observe without reaction that without reaction is very significant so now if you observe it without reaction what will happen basically that process which is taking place in the body will get completed and with that that sensation will go because that sensation is an information or an indication of the process which is going on in the body and that process is what we are observing as sensation isn't it so That's it is funny. interesting it is interesting to observe this a few times but if this pain is becoming or sensation is becoming very acute and you have started reaction reacting to it then you can stop the process for the time being don't insist on it so the issue is not that you know i have taken a vow and i will not you know uh, uh do anything for that pain if i find that i am not able to handle it right now and i have started reacting then you start stop the process of observing for the time being do whatever you have to do for the pain but next time you start with a simpler case but if you are able to see it once that there is some process going on in the body and i am getting some information about that process going on in the body in the form of sensation and i don't have to react to it and i see that and i don't react to it and that process gets completed and the sensation gets over without my reaction then it's a big revelation next time any such small sensation will not disturb me which it keeps disturbing today uh, yeah but yeah before small pains used to come so i used to do the same thing it used to go by itself but this i think i was reacting yes. what you mentioned <laughs> reaction was going yes. on i think okay yeah so in that case you can drop it for the time being and then try again with simpler state okay bhaiya thank you